Okay, we're going to continue here because we have more than one spot. We have two spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back down here to the first video and on the keyboard we're going to press Control C. Same thing as coming here to edit and pressing copy. And then still by pressing it here, make sure that it's chosen. Control V as in Victor in your keyboard. And this is going to duplicate this video again. So we're doing exactly what we did before, just a little different instead of coming here and saying pace. Uh, okay, so now that we have it chosen, we're going to choose choose the pen tool and we're going to draw again a square close to the spot that I want to remove. This is the spot that I want to remove. Then come here to, this is very important here, come here to one of these corners here, any of them, and do a left click on it. The mass opens up and different things that you can use here, but right now we're going to be using the mass. And the one that we're going to be using is actually the feather mass. So press the feather mass. You can do also do control shift F to get this up quicker if, if you needed to do a lot of them. Now it's going to open up and we're going to use 5 again and press OK and come back here to the toolbar make sure that we have the selection tool chosen choose the video and the area and just move it over the spot that we wanted to remove and then again click here to see that the spot it's gone you wanted to see the spot again and remove it I'm not happy with that so I want to make this just a little bigger and then you're able to you're able to just to make it a little bigger if it wasn't big enough before and I like that that looks good um, if I wanted to see what I did now take it up to a uh, fit so you can see it all and we can see that we have removed the spot, the two spots that we had from this area. Um, now we need to export this video, make it into a video again, right? So be sure that we save the project. So we're just going to hit save. We saved before already. Now we're going to say composition. We're going to say make movie. And then you have some choices here. Um, first thing that we'll do is the quality. We want it at the best resolution. We want it at the best quality. I like to use the OpenGL because my computer has, uh, the car has the OpenGL uh, choice and this will make it a lot faster to render the movie. Press OK there. Now come up to uh, the next choice that we have here, the output mode, and it's going to open up here. Um, you're going to want to know what video you're going to be using. For this particular video that I'm making, I'm going to be using QuickTime. And um, the format that I'm going to be using for this particular video, it's going to be H.264. And it's going to be the best quality. I'm going to put OK. And then that's all we need. We don't have audio coming out of here. If I had audio, you know, I would have to have to choose the audio down here, but this particular video has no, no audio. I'm going to put OK. Then this over here lets you know where the video is going to be going. This particular video, I want it to go to the desktop. And we're going to leave it with the same name, so I'll just know what it is right away. And we'll put OK. And once you're ready, just hit Render right here in this area here and it will start rendering the whole thing will render and when it gets to this down here it'll be done and then you'll be able to see it okay now that the video is finished rendering here um, I'm going to show you what we did uh, I'm going to minimize After Effects here and uh, then this is the uh, new comp that we did so I put it in the desktop and open it up and you can see that we have no spots. Um, so as you can see the original video 
is over here and this is with the spots before we did it and the new video which is here with no spots you can also use this technique to um, remove other things that you don't want on your video uh, but this is only when the spot is n not moving in the video the video is the spot is attached like you have a spot on your lens something like that if you wanted to remove uh, a spot that is moving um, that's another tutorial and you'll have to come back to that one